we want to write an algebraic expression for the given situation. Ron and Monique were driving to a business meeting 85 miles from their office. Ron drove the first x miles and then Monique drove the rest of the way. We want to write an expression for how many miles Monique drove. So the first thing we know is the number of miles driven by Ron is represented by x. So before we write the expression for the number of miles driven by Monique, let's go ahead and model this situation. If we let this distance here be 85 miles, and then let's just say that Ron drove from here to here, which would be x miles, we need to write an expression for the remaining distance from here to here driven by Monique. Well, the length of this segment here would be equal to this total length minus the length of this short segment here, which would be 85 minus x miles. So the expression we're looking for, because we already know the units are in miles, is 85 minus x. A common mistake here is to write x minus 85, which would not be correct. Subtraction is not commutative, meaning we cannot change this order and have the same difference. If that's still a little bit confusing, let's take a look at a simpler example. If I told you that the length of this segment here was, let's say, eight inches, and then I told you that the length of this segment from here to here is three inches, you could probably easily tell me that the length of this segment here is five inches. And that's true, but mathematically what you're really doing to get this length here is to take the total distance of eight inches and subtract three inches. So it's the same idea that we applied over here, it's just that a variable was involved. Okay, so I hope this makes sense and it clarifies that it does have to be 85 minus x not x minus 85.